it says next that we're supposed to do Investigation 3.6. Yeah. It's called Cell Comics. You know, I'm looking at this, and, and, and I don't know. They're supposed to, like, what? Make an analogy where the cell is like a restaurant or a city or a sports stadium. I don't know. I guess it's like you can make it like a pretty easy analogy about how the cell is like a school. Yeah, I, that would be perfect. I, I, I personally would do it like a school because we know a lot about schools, right? And so we can take what we can take what we know about schools and make it fit what we could learn about cells. Well, what about what about the cytoplasm? You've got like the the whole cytoplasm that makes up the rest of the cell. I think I think it would be all the classrooms and the students. Oh, yeah. So what would the what would like a like a cell membrane be like? You think? Well, I would think of it like being like the walls and the doors of the school because the cell membrane keeps everything in, and so you got the the cell membrane around the outer edge, keeping everything in. But it has to not keep everything in and out. It has to be able to let some things come and go like the doors and the windows do. A cell with no openings or impermeable membrane would be like a school with no doors and windows. If a cell was permeable to its environment, anything can just enter and leave freely and that wouldn't be good either for a cell. Rather, a cell is semi-permeable. It only lets certain things in, such as Mr. Bingman with his key card, but others are kept out. For example, a cell would have to let in food and nutrients, but it would want to keep out things like foreign invaders. Okay, well what about like, um, like, like, nucleus? What would, what would, what do you think the nucleus would be? Well, I don't know. I, I was kind of thinking like, like maybe the nucleus was like the library because it's got all this information in it. Yeah, I guess, but like in terms of like what's relevant to schooling information, Maybe that would be like, like down in the office. See, it, but I, I don't think of the, the, the nucleus as being in charge. No, no, it, it wouldn't be the administration. It, 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 it would be, it would, it would be um, um, Miss Gavin and Miss, Miss Humbert. Oh, because they have like the files and stuff. They have the files. They got their whole command center and everything with the computers and they know all the comings and goings of the school. That's what the nucleus is like. It's got all the files that tell the, tell the cell how to build structures in it. Uh, what about ribosomes? What would you do with them? Uh, ribosomes? I don't know. What, what do you think about that? This is where, this is where the stuff gets made in the cell. The, the, Proteins yeah, like get constructed. So what is a school manufacturer? It manufactures learning, yeah. right? Yeah. So this would be what the the like the the classrooms and then teachers in the classrooms are like the ribosomes because we like manufacture the learning, I guess, which is the product of our cell. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the way it would work. It's the teachers in the classrooms. Those would be the ribosomes where the stuff gets made. Okay. I like it. Yeah. And then what about like the, let's see, on here it says mitochondria. Mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Okay, so what would that be? What's the powerhouse of the school? The, the mitochondria, what they really do is they, they're changing types of energy from one to another, right? Just forms of energy. Uh -huh. So they take in the sugar that we would eat and they turn it into what's adenosine triphosphate, the, the kind of... The ATP, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that, that our cells could use. So maybe um, maybe that would be like the boiler room down uh, in, the, in the basement that, that keeps, takes in the gas heat or the gas power and the electricity and turns it into like hot water to heat the, the rooms and, and think. And like the furnace and everything. And light the lights, the electricity to light the lights. Okay. Something like that. You know, Instead of instead of doing this entire project, we could just make it into a brain building broadcast. We could make it into a brain building broadcast. Yeah. yeah. That way they wouldn't have to build the whole project. They could just answer some questions about it. And then we could move on and actually look at something interesting in the microscope. I like the way you think. There are many different parts to the cell. One is the cytoplasm. This is the jelly-like membrane 
inside the cell. It's surrounded by the cell membrane. The cell membrane is the outermost living layer of the cell. It regulates what leaves and enters the cells. The nucleus houses the DNA and protects it. It contains the nucleolus, which produces ribosomes. Mitochondria are membrane-bound organelles. They provide energy to perform cellular functions. There are a great number of ribosomes found in the cells. These assemble proteins based on the DNA's instructions. So, here's the thing. I'm, I'm looking at the parts of the school and I, it occurred to me we have the solar panel up on top of the school's roof. What do you think, like, is there a way to fit that into our analogy? Yeah, I wonder what organelle that would fit in with. We would have to go back and look at all the different organelles on pages 50 and 51. Well, what, what do, do you, you think? think?